Good afternoon, colleagues. <laughs> Once again, good afternoon, everyone. We are very pleased to see so many here uh, this afternoon. Goeiemiddag, collega's. We'll see Malweni, Wamkili Kili. Wonderlijk om hier te en hier te verwelkom bij die personeel bij inkomst te welkom hier bij de staf assembly. Ik wil ook welkom zijn aan onze collega's wat vanaf Tijgerberg campus, zowel als de Belwel campus, deelnemen aan hier die vergadering. And I need to inform that the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences are live streaming this and we're really moving into a space of, of getting more attuned so that staff doesn't need to constantly um, travel to the main campus. Um, and therefore, we uh, are really going to try to stick to the time so that uh, they are able to join. So thank you for the colleagues who've been able to set this up. We are. Uh, of course, these connections are really um, dependent on the quality of, the, of the, live, the live streaming and to get that going. So if there is a problem, we will make sure that we try to connect as soon as possible again. However, I do want to um, highlight that there will be a recording of the staff assembly so that those who cannot then participate will be able to see this right after the meeting and it will be available on the university's website. So colleagues, on to business. We are here this afternoon to um, introduce and to launch the Stellenbosch University's new vision and strategic framework. And because our staff members are key stakeholders in this, we have decided that we would use the staff assembly as the first platform to do this formal rollout. So if you look on the program, you will see that uh, right after this welcoming, uh, I will introduce our Rector and Vice-Chancellor, Professor Wim de Villiers. Uh, and then I will provide, once he's provided us with the context and, and some background information of how, we are, how we've come to this point, then I will share the detail of the vision and strategic framework in, in more detail. And after that, we will take some questions. We will also allow our colleagues who is participating in the live streaming to send their um, uh, questions via, and I want to, to just share that with him, those that are, that are joining us on live streaming, that questions can be sent to ecoms, E-C-O-M-M-S, at sun.ac.za. Uh, we will therefore then conclude by 2 p.m. so that there's enough time for you, for those of you who did not pick up the brochure outside, that you would be able to do so, as well as the lunches that uh, you can pick up. And we've worked on the, on the RSVP number, so I hope that everyone will get a lunch before you leave. So let me continue and introduce our, our rector. Professor Wim de Villiers het aangesluit by die universiteit in april 2015. En van dat hy aangesluit het, het hy dit duidelik gemaakt dat die gedachte was nie om die bestaande institutionele strategie totaal te verander op daar die stadium nie. So he, his point of position was that he wanted to make sure that there's stability within the university but also create stability for the university in the broader sector, and then said he would continue with the existing institutional strategy and intent. But Professor de Villiers is now with us three and a half years, and over this period of time, he said, well, it is time to look ahead. What would the future bring for Stellenbosch University? And in anticipation of this, and the, in anticipation that the existing institutional uh, strategy and intent is having the expiry date now in 2018, uh, he then started this process in July 2016. So a task team was established at, at that uh, meeting and 
part of my portfolio being responsible for strategy, I was then tasked by the rector to lead this process. And at this point, Prof, I want to say thank you for the confidence, but also thank you for the support throughout this almost two-year process that we have followed. So the rector will now speak for about 10 minutes, giving some background, and after that, I will then move on to the detail of the vision and strategy. Over to you, Prof. Thank you. So thank you very much, Professor Klopper, and good afternoon, everyone. More wary, middag amal. Ek is baie blij met julle amal hier te sien. Baie dankie vir die belangstelling. What a great turnout! I'm sure it has nothing to do with the food that will follow. I also noticed quite a large number of you keep to the back there, which means that you obviously do not want to make eye contact with the lecturer. But greetings also to our colleagues on our Tigerberg and Belvoir Park campuses and to everyone else uh, following proceedings live over the internet. Uh, this is indeed a very exciting moment for Stellenbosch University. This is the year of our centenary and as we look back on a hundred years of history, we are also looking ahead to the future, figuring out where we want to go as an institution and making plans to get us there. I'm very honored to lead Stellenbosch University at this point in time, and I'm very proud of all our capable and committed staff and students. Our people are our number one enabler. Without you, there is no university. And therein lies the challenge for us all. Because you see that universities are institutions for the ages. For centuries, universities have done much to change the world. But the world, as you know and as we experience, is changing very quickly. And we too have to adapt or be left behind. So it is our responsibility to not only focus on the here and now, but to leave a legacy for those who will come after us. Ons voorgangers het juist dit gedoen. En dit is dankzij die grondslag wat hulle geleer het, dat Stellenbosch Universiteit vandag een toonaangevende universiteit is, wat een belangrike bijdra tot menselijke ontwikkeling lever, wat goed gekwalificeerde, gegradeerdes oplever en wat innoverende en relevante navorsing doen en een groot inpak op die samenleving maak. Onder professor Andreas van Wijk was ons padkaart die strategische raamwerk vir die eeuwwisseling en daarna. Onder professor Chris Brink het visie 2012 beslag gekry en onder weile professor Russell Bortman het ons die institutionele voorneme en strategie 2013 tot 2018 gekry met visie 2030, wat ons geleid het om meer inklusief, innoverend en toekomstgericht te word as een instelling. I think we've done well, but the ISS, the Institutional Strategy and Intent, expires this year. So in 2020, 16, as Professor Klopper mentioned, we started drawing up a new road map for the university. And this has now culminated in this new vision and strategic framework that we are launching here today. This is our contribution to the unfolding story of our university, our legacy for future generations that can lead into the next century. And it has been quite a journey to get to this point, and I want to sincerely thank our Deputy Vice-Chancellor for Strategy and Internationalization, Professor Klopper, for spearheading this process. It has been an inclusive, consultative process involving, involving various stakeholders throughout the university, not only the rectorate, but different levels of management in faculties, as well as our professional administrative support services. 
Five task groups investigated major areas, namely, what should the university's values be? The research themes we should be pursuing, our size and shape as an institution, everything to do with bursaries and loans that we offer, and also what performance indicators should we use to monitor and evaluate our implementation of this new framework. We were fortunate to be able to draw on the considerable expertise throughout the university for these task groups. And then also to cast the net much wider, all staff and students were surveyed on the university's values. Lastly, formal university structures provided detailed input. So that's the institutional forum, as well as committees of Senate and Council. And Senate itself recommended the new vision and strategic framework to Council, which at the last Council meeting of the first semester approved this document when it met just before recess. So what has all this work resulted in? Where does our new roadmap point to? Where are we headed? And as you can see on these banners, our vision is bold. To become Africa's leading research-intensive university, globally recognized as excellent, inclusive, and innovative, where we advance knowledge in service of society. How are we going to get there? By pursuing six core strategic themes, again, as you can see on the banner. One, delivering a student experience that is transformative. Two, following a teaching and learning approach that is both networked and collaborative. Three, conducting research aimed at impact. Four, establishing purposeful partnerships and inclusive networks. Five, becoming the employer of choice in the higher education sector. And six, working towards a thriving Stellenbosch University overall. And as you will see in the document, the brochure that you have now have access to, and on the website, and as Professor Klopper will explain in more detail in a moment, there are various other elements as well. Besides this vision and the core strategic themes, we now also have a new mission, new values, attributes, enablers, and strategic management indicators. But what now? How is this going to be implemented? Because this was only phase one, the development process to get us to this point. Phases two and three will now follow. And they will run concurrently, and Professor Klopper again will provide more detail. But what essentially lies ahead is a process of sense-making, a process of sense-making. We need now to take this document and to engage with it in our various environments we need to flesh it out, we need to give it meaning, and we need to make it a living document with each staff member and student, not only talking the talk, but also walking the talk. And ons wil aller munt sê dat hierdie nieuwe visie en strategiese raamwerk net lippetaal moet wees, net bloot woorde op papier. Ons wil hee, dit moet een wezenlijke verskil maak Nie net vir ons universiteit nie, maar ook vir ons samenleving in die geheel. So last week, in delivering the Nelson Mandela Centenary Lecture, former US President Barack Obama said, Every generation has the opportunity to remake the world. And I want to paraphrase that to some extent. Colleagues, this is now our opportunity to do something significant for this institution. It's our time, it's our turn, and we need to make the most of this. And I really uh, urge you
to make use of this opportunity. With this new vision and strategic framework, Stellenbosch University is showing its commitment to being relevant to our context and of service to our country and continent. An inclusive, world-class university in and for Africa. And it was developed taking into account South Africa's National Development Plan, the African Union's Vision 2063, and the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. It's very clear. What happens in the world shapes us. And what happens here at Stellenbosch U University matters to the world. We're all part of something bigger. And our new vision and strategic framework, I believe, will take us forward together. Masiye Pambile, Sam Furuntu, Bye, Donkey, and Kozi Kakul. Thank you very much. I will now call on Professor Klopper to provide a, a more detailed look at, at our new vision and strategic framework. So the Rector has provided the, the context of how we have developed the vision and strategic framework. But I do think it's important to put the document in context of why it's needed that we have our Vision 2040 looking into the future, as well as our strategic framework. These documents will provide in future the framework for how we develop the different environmental plans, and that is for the various responsibility centers, faculties, as well as the um, past environments. And on an annual basis, from those environmental plans, we have to submit a plan, an institutional plan to the Department of Higher Education and Training, together with a budget. And this forms the basis continuously for the work that we will, will do over the next six years. Professor Wim has alluded to the fact that our approach has been that this is the, con the, the launch today is the conclusion of phase one. So what does this mean in, in uh, real terms? We have somehow tried to approach this differently. And that is that we, we worked over the past two years on setting up the strategic framework, and that's why it's called the framework, with six core strategic themes. And as I um, go through more of the detail, you will see that we have, with each of the themes, we have developed goals. But we have not gone into further detail of developing very specific objectives. And the reason for that is that this now leads us into phase two, and this is what we call our strategy uptake, of the strategy integrasi. What betekent dit? Collegas, dit beteken dat in die volgende zes maanden ons een in interactie gaan tree met mekaar. En wanneer ek praat oor die verschillende thema's, gaan ek een voorbeeld of twee noem. So dat ons gesamentlik kan besluit oor precies hoe gaan ons vir gestalting gee aan die thema's, sowel as die breed doelstellings wat gestel is binnen die strategische raamwerk. Simultaneously, we starting with phase three, which is called the, the strategy, um, the, the strategy beleining of the strategy alignment. So what does that mean? Once we now have a new strategic framework, the first thing that we need to remember is that if you don't change anything, nothing will change. So we cannot continue with how we've done things, but driving a new strategy. So the challenge for us as a collective would be to what is it that we need to change, to align, to make us a more agile and responsive and adaptive organization. And you will see that embedded in one of the goals as well. So let me move on, and I will, I'm glad to, to, at the end when we've got questions, to unpack more of the process for the way forward. So as the rector has already shared, our vision for 20, the vision 2040 is that Stellenbosch University will be Africa's leading research-intensive university, globally recognized as excellent, 
inclusive, innovative, where we advance knowledge in service of society. But behind this vision, there are very specific aspirations that drives the vision forward. And I want to share those aspirations with you that drives this vision forward. The first aspiration is an aspiration of an impeccable reputation as a proud African knowledge hub that serves the continent through research, innovation, and education. Our second aspiration is that it's a transformed, integrated academic community where we celebrate critical thinking, but promotes debate and is committed to democracy, human rights, social justice, with an outward, international, and forward focus. The fourth one, we have shifted from only focusing on the social impact, which remains one of our core activities, but to the all-encompassing impact that includes social, financial, as well as environmental well-being of the town, the region, the country, our continent, with a global reach. And our fourth aspiration behind this Vision 2040 is a systemically sustainable institution that is economic, social, and environmentally sustainable as a, that will continue to be a national asset that serves the diverse needs of the communities that we serve. I'm not going to go through all of the detail in the document, but I wanted to be very specific about these aspirations, and I will also share with you the elements behind our new mission statement. And then the mission statement says that Stellenbosch University is a research-intensive university where we attract outstanding students, employ talented staff, and provide a world-class environment. A place connected to the world while enriching and transforming local, continental, and global communities. So what are the elements behind this mission statement? Also want to share that with you. There are very explicit notions that drives this mission forward. And the first one speaks to the strengthening of interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary research. The second one is that we are innovative and share our innovations with the world. And the moment that we use this terminology, it has specific implications for how we will conduct our business in future. The third um, element in our mission is that it nurtures close relationships with our stakeholders. And these stakeholders could be um, either within our town, could be in the region, could be in the continent, could be international. The fourth one is about sharing our knowledge offering through network and collaborative teaching and learning. And you will hear more of this as part of uh, one of our strategic themes as well. Built an academic community on shared values and then influence and change the world around us, but while being responsive and embracing change ourselves. So very important, the responsiveness. So in terms of the, the values, the new values of the university, I'll flip first to the, to the English one and then I'll go back to the Afrikaans, is the following five um, values. Excellent, compassion, accountability, respect, and equity. And we have deliberately chosen the depiction of this in a circular uh, format, so to show that they are interdependent and that the one is not above the other. And you will, in the document, you will see the very specific definitions and descriptions of what each of these values means here at Stellenbosch University. And this is the culmination of the, the survey that was done by the staff, the students, as well as then our consultative process um, results finally. The next, uh, let me just go back to the Afrikaans, for um, that you have seen in terms of the Afrikaans weergave van die waardes, uitnemendheid, deernis, billigheid, respect and verantwoordelijkheid. And ons glo dat hier die vijf waardes ons voor en toe sal neem as a collective. 
Dan het ons als deel van die strategische raamwerk specifieke kenmerken geïdentificeerd wat ons gloe in Nikus aan Stellenbosch Universiteit en wat ons al wil begrond als een besluitnemings raamwerk voor die toekomst voor en toe. And those attributes are making sure that in everything we do that it's an all-encompassing impact. So whenever we make decisions to think about what is the impact that we want to accomplish and are we, uh, can we responsible then for those decisions that we make. The second one uh, is the systemic sustainability. The third one, which is I think going to be the biggest challenge for us as a university, as it is for all universities, to decide how will we live an attribute of being agile, adaptive, and responsive, where decision making does not take two years, but that, it, that we can be more responsive in our processes and how we conduct business. An organizational culture built on shared values, that forms the basis of whatever we do, is the values that, that forms the basis. A strategic focus with a shared vision, that we will all strive towards this vision and, this, and embodying the strategic framework that I will present now in more detail. Whatever we do, collaborative nature and the, in the approach that we follow, professionalism and an entrepreneurial mindset, both staff and students, and that our university will embody these attributes. In the development of the strategic framework, we've also said that they are certain enablers of instaatstellers. Without these components, you cannot conduct business. And what are the most important enablers at a university? And the, the most important one for us is people, and that includes both our staff and students. But it's also, our enabler is the purpose. Why are we here? And it's driven by our vision, which is to be the leading research intensive university on this continent. The other part, and, and we are well aware as, as the rectorate, in terms of what will it take to use technology as a new way of business, and that that will become an enabler. Our infrastructure, we can be proud on the infrastructure that we have, but how do we move it towards a world-class um, infrastructure that supports the work of all our staff and students. Sound finance, we need the money to make the things work. Good governance, that we will be responsible and accountable for good governance. And lastly, to embark on a process of consistently having good communication in all the, the actions that we do. And we believe that with any one of these missing, that then the process doesn't follow um, smoothly uh, after that. So let me move on to the strategic framework. The rector has already shared with you the six core strategic themes. So the first one is, and the first time in the history of this university that we are putting a transformative student experience as our first priority. And I will, I will um, share more detail um, in terms of some of the goals that we have set uh, for each of these uh, core strategic themes. The second uh, theme is network and collaborative teaching and learning. The third one, research for impact. Fourth, purposeful partnerships and inclusive networks. Being the employer of choice. And the last one is a thriving Stellenbosch University. So what does this mean in moving forward and, and what is, has been some of the, the um, goals that we have already set within each of these? And I'm, I'm going to touch upon them because you will receive the brochure with all the detail and it will be right after this meeting is available on the website as well. In terms of this transformative student experience, what is imminent for us is to provide a unique personalized student experience that serves as a catalyst for transformational change amidst the opportunities for engagement as well as the development through first class academic offering. The second is continues to, to build on our 
graduate uh, student graduate attributes. The, the third one you see is a uh, focus on strengthening our strategic uh, enrollment management. And the moment we make these, as we set them as goals, it's got implication of, so how will we do business different? And it's those processes that we would need to unpack now in the, in the second and third phase. Uh, fourth one, you see um, enhanced student uh, success rate, and fourth, uh, or the last one, deliver comprehensive premium quality support services. So let me just pause here for a minute in terms of the next phase. For an example, what you will see over the next couple of months is that stakeholders within, a, within this theme will be invited to participate in workshops. Why? Because we want to understand that from the moment a student makes contact and get a sense of the brand of Stellenbosch, being that student in Toyando, what is that student's experience right throughout all the contact that that student has with, this, with the university till that person becomes, and our student becomes an alumnus? And it's that collectiveness that we need to understand what does that mean in each of our environments and faculties and how will we contribute towards that experience. And we will have similar work for each and every one of these strategic themes. So you will get those invitations and this is moving forward. And based on that work, once we've got that collective understanding of what does this mean for Stellenbosch University, we will then move into the specifics of the objectives within each of the environments. So I hope you get the sense that this is a framework that will guide our work for, for the next um, six years. You'll see there, as part of a, a transformative student experience, expand engagement opportunity, and this includes then our alumni uh, community, and where we want to embed work um, integrated learning as part of the experience that we provide our students. In terms of networked and collaborative teaching and learning, our focus remains learning-centered. So we are, we are enhancing on the work that has already been started in this area. But we are moving forward in terms of interdisciplinary, interprofessional teaching and learning, where we would need to pull on resources to be more effective. Create an institution of continuous learning. What does this mean for Stellenbosch as an organization and an institution to be a learning institution ourselves and to be reflective? And to promote the professionalization of academics in their teaching role in terms of teaching and learning scholarship. Another law, a challenge that we will be faced is development of a digital strategy, not just for teaching and learning, but a digital strategy that will cut across the university so that technology becomes our new way of working. Expand issues knowledge offering to new student markets, and, and we've seen already some of that work on, uh, has, has started under the leadership of Professor Arnold Schoenwinkel, looking at other modes of delivery. And then continuous renewal of our programs, and we're already seeing new initiatives coming where interdisciplinary work is pulling together so that we can move forward in a new way of, of working together in certain um, knowledge fields. In terms of research for impact, you've heard that the rector has um, alluded to the fact that there was a task team that has identified five broad areas of, of focus for the future. But within that work, a very specific research agenda would need to be developed, and, and that is what the first goal speaks to. Conduct research of significance based on se selected and focused strategic research area. And that is the next work that we need to do collectively. Um, it's about involving our stakeholders in the research agenda, industry, uh, people that employ our students uh, later, uh, doing research that has an impact in terms of the industry. Conduct collaborative and interdisciplinary research. So I. I'm sure you get the sense of collaborative, connectedness, interdisciplinary, interprofessional as we move forward. 
um, create an embedded culture of innovation and entrepreneurship in research. But entrepreneurship is also an attribute, so it cr cuts across all of these uh, six themes. Our fourth theme speaks to purposeful partnerships and networks. The first one will be to develop a framework of principles of what does it mean to have a relevant, uh, to be relevant and have a regional impact and a global reach in terms of transactional and transformational partnerships. And that could be either local or within the, in the, in the province, it could be on the continent, but it's also our global partners. To promote a deep connectedness and interaction with business, industry and government, that we pull them much closer to the work that, that we do. Embrace the communities that we serve in terms of social, cultural and um, environmental and economic development and change. Our partnerships continue to say that we want to enhance our partnerships with the alumni community and this is across the world. And there are already initiatives that are promoting this and, and driving uh, this objective or this specific goal. Build effective communication or collaboration through partnerships and this will also be with other universities, institutions and organizations. Foster distributed network and reciprocal partnerships. So it's putting frameworks and structures in place so that there's a benefit for both us and the partners that we will be working with. And establish appropriate partners with institutions in all societal sectors, including civil society, public discourse, public opinion information, and public um, policy making. In terms of the employer of choice, this is another strategic th um, theme that we see that prominent uh, for the first time uh, here at Stellenbosch University, really giving profile to how important our employees is to this university. So the development of a comprehensive people strategy will follow off now from the strategic framework. Our second goal speaks to enhance the well-being of our people in creating and promoting, enabling, inclusive, equitable and healthy, safe working and learning environments. And the third one speaks to improve human resources processes. So, and I'm sure you all sit there and say yes. What you hear throughout the strategic framework is that this is going to be a challenge for us in terms of of um, moving Stellenbosch University forward and be ready for our next 100 years. Very important as part of in being uh, the employer of choice is the development and execution of a game-changing talent acquisition as well as talent management. So we want to attract staff but we also want to retain them and we need to put systems in place that we will get that right. And the last one speaks to support Stellenbosch University as a learning organization, and that um, is linked with being networked and collaborative in nature. I'm almost done. I'm on to the last um, strategic theme that speaks to a thriving Stellenbosch University. The Afrikaans said it so mooi ook eindelijk, a florerend. And I think as we gaan kijk for all my kinders, as jij of ziek of is a florerende kind, a thriving childhood, says something about um, the health of the institution. Or, so, in terms of a thriving Stellenbosch University, how will we do this? By cultivating an issue characterized by inclusivity, deep and intentional transformation, and an acknowledgement and an embracing of the diversity. It is the advancement of multilingualism that we will continue to provide space for multilingualism in all um, our conduct, academic, administrative, professional, and social contexts. Change the size and shape and the mix of our student population academic programs in looking uh, to, into the, the future and following certain strate strategic directions that we have set for ourselves in the vision and create a financially sustainable organization, which is ultimately needed for us to conduct any business. It also sets out as a goal to raise the standard of university facility and infrastructure so that we can be a leading research intensive university 
within this continent, but that we, that we are also comparing to the best that we could possibly be. And I think a very important part is while embracing a visual redress, and that should be part of um, looking at our facilities and infrastructure for the future. The second, or the next one speaks to bring about profound and sustainable change and regeneration in all facets and functions at Stellenbosch University to be agile, adaptive, and responsive. And I think this is one of those that I would really want each and every one of us to have as a motto. You know, when things go tough, how do we become, how can I be agile? How can I adapt? How can I be more responsive? Aspire to be a leading research university, ranked amongst the top world university by 2024. And I know, and the rectorate has extensively, and so has the, the, the larger management team, debate the, the position on, well, should it be part of our vision on, and a strategic framework to be explicit about rankings? And we feel that's the rules of the game. That is how it's played around the world. For those of you who engage with international partners will know, before you enter their room, they almost immediately tell you what our ranking is. So we need, that's not the only thing that we're gonna drive, but it's important that we do take note of that and that we see ourselves at least amongst the top in, the, in this continent and create an entrepreneurial culture that advance innovation institutionally and that we pro provide those opportunities for both our staff and students. So colleagues, given this uh, background, I now invite the, the rector to join me here and uh, we're gonna have about 15 minutes for questions and answers. I want to once again invite our colleagues who are following online to send questions to ecoms at sun.ac.za and uh, Martin will also be checking that email and will be bringing forth any of those questions. There will be roaming mics. Where are the roaming mics? So if you put up your hand, uh, we're going to take about three questions and then uh, answers and from there on uh, take the next round. Thank you very much, Professor Klopper, for, for that overview. Uh, colleagues, quite a mouthful, quite a lot to digest. As you see, this is our Forward Together project. And we have, it's a, it's a bold vision. We've got six strategic themes. We've got set out certain goals among them, and they will now, this was phase one that ended, and we'll now have Phase two, what we engaged in now going forward is sense making um, and it's implementing certain strategic indicators and it's also how what we will do in the future, how that is aligned with these goals and themes that were set. So I'll be glad to uh, take any, um, any, any uh, questions in this regard. So we'll take one question there, and then I already have two others uh, that were came in online. Thank you. I would just like you to tell us about the previous meeting um, strategy. How much of that was realized? Okay, and then. The second question actually alludes to um, the, the status, is the same type of question, the status of the Institutional Intent and Strategy 2013 to 2018. It expires this year, but is it still in place until the end of 2018? When does the new vision and strategic framework kick in? Um, let, let me deal with, with those two questions because they are uh, related. Um, this new vision and strategic framework was accepted by council uh, at the end of uh, last term. So in our planning phase going forward for next year, and this is actually tomorrow and Thursday, 
Uh, we have an institutional planning forum and all the different uh, environments had to submit their environmental plans, etc. They are already, uh, they, they submitted those plans and they're already uh, aligned and, 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 and uh, shaped along the strategic theme. So it will kick in uh, in the 2019 budget cycle. So from, because this is the, the plan and strategy going forward from 2019. So as to how much of it was realized, um, and that is why uh, some, it's very difficult to, to, I told you qualitatively, I think we've done well with regards to being uh, in terms of inclusive, of being innovative and being future focused. Did better than others. Uh, I think in terms of and some of these things are forever evolving. It's not a, a universities are always transforming, they're always changing, and we respond to the environment as well. Uh, in, in terms of inclusivity, we've certainly improved. Are we where we should be? No, we're not. In terms of staff diversity, we have uh, improved. Are we where we should be? No, we're not. So those are aspects, it's not finished. In terms of um, the, the, the HOPE project that was launched, when one evaluates the whole project, and this is not new for any of these, of these big, uh, uh, um, big and um, visions that, that one has, of one has to reevaluate these at a certain time, say of 10 things, there may be four or five that worked well, others that didn't work as well. That doesn't mean that those that, that are working well, that we are now going to discard them. We will certainly look at things critically and to determine which should go forward. The third question uh, was with regard to the NRF. Um, and it said the NRF is not doing as well as in the past. The National Platform for Research Funds uh, is failing us. In what manner is Stellenbosch University going to assist up and coming lecturers who have to do research but cannot apply? For example, to Tuca and many other funds due, uh, PhD, postdocs, etc., etc. And it's about up-and-coming uh, researchers. So this is something that's really very close to my heart and also very close to uh, Professor Kluter's heart, who's the DVC for, for research. Um, and and, and it's, it's an explicit theme that we have, and it's research for impact. And that's why I really uh, very intently uh, drove um, or asked the task team to look at core strategic themes not necessarily, and, and, it, and what I'm talking here, it's, it's blue sky, it's basic type science, and it's also applied science, things that we really want to, want to invest in in a meaningful way. That means that we will need, any strategic strategy that we uh, put out here and where we have strategic themes means that the budget will swing behind that. And so when we say that it's research for impact, it, it means that we will fund that. And we should fund it, we should strive to fund that. But with regard to the specific NRF, yes, we, we are certainly aware of the decrease in NRF funding. It's a, a burning uh, a question also for those of us who are involved in USAF, University of South Africa, and continuing um, discussions with them. It's the, uh, it, it's, um, and it was uh, uh, DSET and also DHET. It is uh, the result of a reallocation of of, of funding from DST to uh, a, a, a different funding model for uh, education. But for example, in, in 2018, we committed to continuing the incentives for, for NRF researchers um, who continue to perform well. And I would very much want to commit this university to continuing the incentives that, that the NRF had uh, provided previously. So, uh, and in terms of postdocs, um, we've increased our number of postdocs at the last five years from 150 to now almost 360. I'm very committed to increasing and supporting this number even further. So a very important priority for me is to continue fundraising, not only for our postgraduates, but also specifically for, for postdoc, uh, postdoc salaries and support. Yes, sir. Oh, thank you, Professor Farag. Uh, on the issue of uh, the facility and infrastructure, 
is something that is affecting all of us South Africans. The issue of expropriation of land without compensation. In this vision, is that also taken into consideration in terms of ending the matter if it affects us in future? So it's a, a, a question of, of, of land use. Uh, and land um, uh, review, and it's uh, the other questions, explicit references to um, transformation and impact, but I do not see explicit references to social justice and inequality in, in the country. Um, what initiatives will be taken to improve uh, staff retention? Um, and then one that says, well done to Stellenbosch University on his new vision. So I'll, I'll take that one. <laughs> so, um, sir, I, I think as, we, as we're all aware of, the, the issue of uh, expropriation without uh, compensation is a very important issue at this time, and Stellenbosch University will continue to be kept abreast of that, but more than that, also, as we know, in a, in a very responsible research-based uh, man manner in our uh, Department of, of uh, Agricultural Economics in the Faculty of Agriculture, there's very active research that's being done on, on this area and where government is indeed advised on, on policy in this regard. So we will continue to deal with this in a, in a, in a very uh, academic fashion as well. Secondly, um, I want to say that there, there are actually very explicit, there's a very explicit mention of transformation uh, and impact and very explicit references to, to social justice. And also if you look at the values, I like us to, to think of our five values now is e-care, e-care. So it's excellence, it's compassion, it's accountability, it's respect and it's equity. And very much in the uh, in, the, in the equity value, if you read the, uh, in the brochure, the area dealing with that, where we very explicitly discuss and talk about a value where we need to address the injustices of the past and, and f fair aspirations for our future. So a very explicit, explicit uh, commitment to social justice and uh, inequality. Inisha, what initiatives will be taken to improve staff retention? Now that is, these are, we want to do that, we, and, and for, as Professor Plopper said, for the first time ever, as a, we very explicitly we say as a strategic theme that Stellenbosch University wants to be an employer of choice in the higher education sector. Now we need to unpack what does it mean, what, what would be the goals there, it's not only about money. Yes, we all want more money. But it's not only about money, it's the conditions, it's the satisfaction, it's all the different elements that make up uh, the retention. For example, an area that, that's received a lot of attention and is very difficult to, to do is the question of a daycare center, for example. Um, how, how do we do it, should we do it, what is the best way to position that? So these are the sort of things that we need to impact as we go forward. Good afternoon. Yes. Thank you so much for sharing that exciting strategy. Um, I specifically like the deep and intentional transformation and the theme that I am at University. However, I am missing the commitment to the decolonial project, which is a critical conversation within higher education of the past few years. Any any other questions? The one, another one at the back. Oh, just a, just a quick question. I just want to know whether there's any plans to intentionally include any of these elements in the agreements of senior management for 2019. The short answer to that one is yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe I'll deal with the I'll deal with the with the, with the decoloniality uh, aspect of it, which, as we all know, is a is a is a very active. Uh, topic of conversation at the moment, decolonization, decoloniality, uh, etc., unpacking the meaning of that and the, and the, uh, and the uh, implications of that. I think in our strategic theme, if we look at 
three aspects of that, which is um, a transformative student experience, as also an employer of choice, but it's also a network and collaborative teaching and learning experience. Implicit in that is that there should be continuous curriculum renewal that will really put, put uh, substance to this in this curriculum renewal, that we are a university that's research intensive and that we produce relevant work in and for Africa. That is the important part of it. And I think that, that will certainly address that. The next question is, um, with reference to becoming employer of choice, will recent experiences of staff that, had, that, that did not demonstrate that uh, be investigated in order to gain insight into present state before embarking on new strategies? And I, I certainly, uh, I, would, I would say yes. So, folks, this is a complex organization. It is a large organization. We have many thousands of employees. Uh, and it's a multifaceted type organization. Academics, students, staff, so, uh, very importantly, uh, support staff. So we, we, so we need a human resources type uh, uh, setting that can address these issues. And that is what the goal is, and that, uh, that is what we will continue to, to strive for. So, um, Professor Klopper invited me, so for the first, uh, uh, um, reminded me, for the first time ever, uh, last year, we, we did a, a staff survey uh, of, of Stellenbosch University, um, of a climate and culture survey, um, and it was very informative. I was, I was, to be quite honest, I was expecting the worst. Um, as I said, it's a complex university, a complex organization, and actually I was pleasantly surprised by the outcomes of that culture and climate survey as to the experiences of our staff. But certainly areas that were highlighted that people were not as enthusiastic about, that will certainly continue to be, uh, to focus on and we will unpack that. How will um, vision be communicated to staff and what is the best way for students to hold SU and staff accountable to these commitments. I am super excited. I like that one as well. So this is, yeah, so this is part of that strategy is conveying the information to you now. There will be media statements, there will be things on our, on our website as we look, go into phase uh, two and three. Um, as these goals will be unpacked and specific uh, performance dashboards and strategic in, uh, uh, performance indicators will be developed, uh, certainly. And as I mentioned, the third, the E-CARE, the A stands for accountability. And I'm certainly prepared to be accountable for what we do as a university. So, folks, it's two o'clock. We've got lots of students on campus. Enjoy your food and thank you for coming along.